I asked myself certain questions. You know, how could we do programming at the fair that expanded the programming outside of gallery booths? Or how could we do programming at the fair that engaged all of our constituents in one mission statement? Good afternoon, everyone. Good evening. Welcome, everyone. This panel today is for Freeze New York. There's so much to be said at the top. We've got a lot of gratitude going around here. It's great to see you, Hank. Thank you for taking the time. How could we do programming at the fair that was truly educational and that could maybe have an impact that was greater than the impact that we would normally be able to have? I've always wanted to integrate a more rigorous academic narrative to the programming at Freeze. And that led me to Professor Sarah Elizabeth Lewis at Harvard. I've always wanted to work with her. So with that in mind, we decided to pay tribute to Professor Lewis and to her multifaceted initiative, the Vision and Justice Project. I'm so proud of you, Sarah. I am so grateful for you. I am so joy-filled about the spotlight on your work. My name is Sarah Elizabeth Lewis. I'm a professor at Harvard University. Uh, I'm the founder of the Vision and Justice Project. The Vision and Justice Project is a radial set of initiatives focused on education and publications uh, and public programs to really ask one fundamental question. What is the role of culture and the arts for expanding our notion of who counts and who belongs in society? Why would someone turn to the arts for a question about representation and rights? and not activism or the law. We have been conditioned to read pictures in order to understand statements that society makes about who counts and who belongs. This conditioning doesn't just happen in the classroom. It happens all throughout our daily lives. So much of this work is to consider historic case studies, right, in which you can see the power uh, of images changing and creating counter-narratives, as Brian Stevenson might put it, right, um, in people's hearts and minds, and then allowing us to finally engage with the current moment in order to see uh, these images anew. So I was really stunned and honored by the invitation to receive this tribute from Freeze New York. The tribute to the Vision and Justice Project and to Professor Lewis will take the form of many different things. All of the galleries, they're going to be promoting the Vision and Justice mission through their own ideas and their own programming and their own artist initiatives. The crisis we find ourselves in, and there are many, all center around a kind of what I would call crisis of regard, you know, our inability to see each other clearly. I I feel very much that the Vision and Justice Project is really meant to reflect light outward. What I love about the tribute is that it does precisely that. It salutes the extraordinary work that is happening in the heart and mind of a Carrie Mae Weems, or Hank Willis Thomas, or Ava DuVernay, or Dawood Bay. Many, many of these artists are central to these private shifts that take place and then result in the public work of justice. I see this as a tribute to the artists who've inspired it. A number of um, the works in particular, I think, will be um, deeply meaningful for me. Carrie Mae Weems, for example, has created a tribute to vision and justice. I know that it's going to be um, moving. She is our 21st century oracle. What's happening here today is really a surprise to me and, and such an honor. It's a tribute to the Vision and Justice Project. I'm really blown away by the groundswell of engagement with these critical questions of our, our age today. People have come saying, you know, where can I see it? And the answer is, it's everywhere. 